Okay, everybody. Rock classification, metamorphic rocks. I'm Mr. Gazda. Um, and here we go. Let's talk about metamorphic rocks. You're going to recognize metamorphic rocks uh, in a few ways. If they have layers, okay, we're going to call it uh, foliation or the thin layers. That comes from a lot of pressure. That's going to be metamorphic rocks. I'll show you that. High mica content. Um, be careful with this. Some kids see any sort of mica at all, boom, to make a metamorphic rock. That's not true. It has to be uh, high mica content, and you got to get a feel for that. Or banding, which is a striping appearance of um, minerals, which I'll show you as well. Let's also just r review real quickly. There's two types of metamorphism. Um, if it is buried deeply, it will be hot and have a lot of pressure, and that's called regional metamorphism. Okay. If it is only hot temperatures, and maybe it's not, the pressure's not that great, but it's just uh, really hot. That's called contact metamorphism. And the best example is that that is contact with lava. If it is if it's touched by lava, it will heat it up and kind of cook that rock. So here we go. This is the Earth Science Reference Tables for metamorphic rocks, and here we go. So here you have the foliated um, rocks, which you're going to have some sort of layering. These are not going to have visible layering. Okay, so they're separated out like this. Let's. I'm going to lay some of the rocks right out here. Now, slate right there. Okay, that's slate, and. Maybe I have to go like this. And phyllite, schist, nice. Okay, let's just focus on these for now. As I go from from here down here, the the metamorphism gets more intense. So it, as I go from here to here, it shows me that these rocks experience hotter temperatures and more pressure. And then this is, we also say, is a higher grade of metamorphism as you go down. So this is slightly metamorphosed. This is going to be, um, this is slate. Okay. And can you see, sometimes this slate, you can see that you get a little bit of mica crystals. I don't know how well you're going to see it here. It's often a little bit of a shine to it, a little bit of a shine from the mica. Um... Can you see the layer? And you kind of see, you kind of see the layers in here. How that? Yeah, see the layers are flat layers. That's why. Yeah, you see it pretty good. Okay, that's slate. And this is phyllite. So this is now if uh, a little more metamorphosed from hot, more um, from more heat, more pressure. Now I hope that you can start seeing a bit of a silvery sheen to it. We're not going to say this is metallic. That's for minerals. The silvery shine to it. I'm, it's very hard for me to do this in the light. Yeah, right there. You can kind of see it, right? Okay. Can you see the layers? Layering. Doesn't focus that great. Not really. But that's phyllite. And again, the silver, the silvery is mica. It's microscopic microcrystals. It says foliation surfaces shiny from microscopic microcrystals. So now you can start seeing it being shiny. Let me see. I have another piece here. Can you see the layers in here? Come on, focus better. Yeah, you kind of see the layers, right? They're flat and they're kind of going this way. Yeah, so you can see that's called foliation. Now we're going down to schist. And with this, you really can start to see. You can start seeing large microcrystals. Look how silvery that is. Again, that's from those mic flaky microcrystals. You really can see it. And can you see the foliation? Maybe not in this piece so great. But usually you can see the strong layers in the reason the mica looks this way because they're all very flat. If I can, I don't know if I, how long is this going to, I'm 
Oh yeah, that's gonna work. I flaked off. I was able to flake off some microcrystals right there. Yeah, you see that? Those are those flat microcrystals, especially those two up there. This and this. You can really see those. Okay, that's cool. It's just now, I'm, so this is uh, even more higher grade metamorphism. And then when you get down here, this is nice, and this is going to have what's what's known as banding, and this is the different colored layers. Okay, different color layers where you have these these rocks that are basically so hot they're but then they're partially melted. We say they're like a thick toothpaste, and the minerals within there can move around or migrate. We say, and then the similar minerals kind of link up with others or join up with others. And can you see that there is striping that goes this way across? You really can see it in the black minerals. Okay, and you can really see it. I think down towards the bottom here. Okay, so that's what we say minerals in a pattern um, that you can s really see. And this is nice, and those layers are banding. So these are all regional metamorphisms. The, the bottom ones are going to be a little harder to tell, but I will put them out here anyway. Anthracite coal. I'll put hornfells out. I'm going to say hornfells, I'll be honest, very boring. Hornfells are boring. They just are. There's not much to them. We're not going to spend a lot of time on them. Quartzite here, marble here, medical glomerate. I don't have my piece with me. Sorry about that. I just don't. So, um, anthracite coal. Here we go. Anthracite coal. So, you will see anthracite coal that's really, really, really silvery. And it has kind of low density. Um, the difference between this and obsidian is that this is much more silvery than, than, than obsidian is going to be. Okay, and this is also a much lower density. Maybe I'll get some obsidian. Do I have some here? Hold on. Okay, this is obsidian right here. Okay, very glassy. And this is my anthracite. You see how it's much more silvery? This piece right here is much more silvery. Okay, anthracite coal. Thank you, obsidian. Now, what this is from, this is bituminous coal. Okay, this is sedimentary rock. When this is under, uh, gets metamorphosed from, from being very hot and a lot of pressure, it will chemically um, change up the chemical reactions which make it into this, often called hard coal. This is the best coal. If you want to burn coal and get heat, get energy from it, you want this kind of coal. If you can get it. Okay, so let me put that back on there. Anthracite coal. And then I have hornfells. Uh, again, born really hard to tell. This is from contact metamorphism, uh, basically from lava. Touching a rock, partially melting it, but uh, hard to tell. So here we have here we have quartzite, okay, and it's from sandstone that gets metamorphosed. And if this is, it's although you can see it pretty well right there, this is basically like sand grains that gets partially melted, and all the grains kind of melt together a little bit. Okay, I think I use the example of like a bag of chocolate chips. If the bag of chocolate chips is, I have some sandstone right here. If this is sandstone, this is similar mineral. It's very red. Is, if this is my bag, right? This is sandstone, individual sand grains cemented together. So I'm going to say, what happens when this gets partially melted? All of those sand grains, kind of the edges, kind of melt together, and they get and they get more like this one right here. Now let me see if we can focus. So. With this one on the right, you can't see the individual grains. It looks like they're much more kind of all joined together a bit. And the chocolate chip example is, if this is my bag of chocolate chips. If I leave those chocolate chips out in the sun maybe on a hot day and they kind of melt together a bit and become all the edges kind of melt together with one big glob of chocolate chips, which does sound very good, I know. It would be, it would be something like this. Okay, that's quartzite. That's that. And marble, oftentimes marble has much more patterns. And marble is basically, um, it's made of calcite or dolomite. Think of uh, like limestone that gets um, under a lot of pressure and again, gets partially melted. And it can be contact also. It gets partially melted and then you have a lot of uh, crystals form and they get a little bigger. You really see the crystals here. And this is going to be uh, calcite in here. And that's marble. Oftentimes you can't see the crystals in marble. And you see often marble countertops and 
and things like that. So we say the parent rock here, parent metamorph metamorphism of limestone or dolostone. So the parent rock of marble is limestone or dolostone. Okay, and for quartzite, the parent rock would be quartz sandstone, or just regular sand. You know, that's what sandstone is. Is quartz sandstone. That's the parent rock, and the parent rock of anthracite coal is bituminous coal, which basically tells you um, that bituminous coal changed into anthracite coal. Okay, so that's our metamorphic rocks, and uh, hope this is uh, helpful. And uh, Mr. Gazda signing out. See you later.